The next exercise concentrates on the flow and precision of the right hand and has many variations. So let me demonstrate it in its basic form. As you just heard, that exercise involved notes that were being arpeggiated intervallically. So let's talk about the left hand shapes that I was going through. It's based off of a major bar chord form with an added third, except you're playing the notes separately. And then we just sort of intervallically disperse those notes. Now that bar chord is moved up through a progression that doesn't make too much sense but at least makes the exercise a little bit more interesting. It goes A major, C major, E major, C sharp major, G major, B major, and F sharp major. All right, now let me show you the pattern that we're doing throughout the chord or arpeggio. We're starting on the root, we're skipping a string, and going to the next note in the arpeggio. Then you're going to the second note of the arpeggio, in this case which is E, skipping a string again. Then to the third note of the arpeggio, the fourth, So we have remember to pick down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. To descend, you start on the added third, which is C sharp on the E string, and skip down to the G string then up to the B and skip down to the D, up to the G, skip to the A, up to the D string and skip to the E. Remember once again to keep your right hand picking consistent. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Don't let that falter at all. So here's what it sounds like when you combine the two. And then from there, just go through the sequence of chords that I outlined earlier, and you have the entire exercise. Okay, now that you know the initial exercise, all the variations involve the right hand, and we're going to concentrate on our picking. First of all, instead of starting with a down stroke and using down, up, down, up, down, up, do the same exercise starting on an up stroke and consistently playing up, down, up, down, up, down throughout the entire exercise. That's going to look like this. It might be a little bit more difficult at first, but the reason we're doing this is so in any situation you'll be able to pick. You're not always going to have the comfort of starting on your favorite stroke, whether it's down or up. You should be able to sort of get through anything that comes your way. Now the other variations involve playing more than one time on each note. We're going to start with playing twice on each note then three times on each note, and then finally four times on each note. Not only that, but 
starting each sequence with a down and then with an up. So let me demonstrate through the one chord what these will look like on your right hand. We'll start with the doubles, starting on a down. Then double starting with an up. Then three times starting with a down. Three times starting with an up. Four times starting with down. And finally, four times starting with an up stroke. All right, what you're going to do is play each one of those variations through the entire chord sequence. Just remember to keep the notes very even and also to keep that consistent alternate picking, especially when you're playing triplets, going from one string to the next because there's an odd amount of notes per string. Really, really watch that you are keeping a consistent down, up, down, up. Now let me demonstrate what it would sound like playing two notes per string through the entire sequence, just so you can have an example. I basically have technique broken down into four categories. One is scalar or linear examples. Two is arpeggiated examples. Three is left hand or legato playing. And four is sweep picking. And what I do is I have files in a file cabinet and I collect information from videos and books and lessons and whatever and I file them according to topic. If it's an arpeggio thing that I learn from a magazine, I rip it out and stick it into the arpeggio section. And then when it comes time to practice, instead of saying, oh, there's millions of things, how am I going to practice all this stuff? Basically, I make a master list of what's in all those files. And that list changes from day to day. You constantly add to it. And you sit down and you basically customize a practice session. So let's say you have about two hours to practice. I personally have four categories, so I'd pick one item from each one of those categories and practice that item for a half hour. Move on to the next, practice that for a half hour. And then by the time I'm done, after two hours, I've covered the entire 